So no one can answer the question on household growth for 360? I know the person who can. Hey, Cindy, you still out there? Hey, Cindy, it's Jim D. I uh, just got out of our leadership team meeting and I wanted to talk to you about that Chris Gribner event that we have coming up in September. Hey, Cindy, it's Stacia. Yep, I've got a new one. The artist just came in and get this, all the art, it's gonna be green. Cindy, this is Jim. I just got out of a foundation board meeting and have a great new idea to share with you. Hey, Cindy, it's Brett. Sorry to bother, but it's Lynn's birthday next week and I knew you'd have some great ideas for me. Clearwater, a picturesque beach town on the west coast of Florida, is where Cindy McGarrigal and her two older brothers were born and raised. Her father, a local printer, and her mother, a probations and parole secretary, worked hard to raise their children to be upstanding citizens and to understand the value of serving others. I always saw them helping others. My mom has helped raise us, but then she also helped take care of my dad when he was sick. She also helped take care of sisters and a brother. And I just saw that all throughout my life and, and it's something that's important to me. Clearwater is also where Cindy dated and married her high school sweetheart, Scott. Over the past 35 years, Cindy and Scott have been an active part of the growing area. And they raised their three children to be just as mindful of their community. Scott has been a Largo policeman since 1982. He's a very caring police officer. Um, loves helping people and has enjoyed it and is also kind of looking forward to retirement in a few years. It's a tough job. I have three children, Craig who's 32 and he is a commercial fisherman. Brian is 29 and he is in the Navy. He's a rescue swimmer and air crewman. And we have Amy who is, has just turned 25 and she's our baby. She's been in the medical field for a few years as a registered medical assistant and she's actually going back to school to be a paramedic. And Cindy herself has worked over the past 30 years in the marketing area of the bank, where today she serves as the West Florida Area Marketing Manager, focusing on sales support, area and city leadership support, and community involvement. But it's her ability to see the bigger picture, to pull together ideas into a comprehensive plan, and to execute the plan well, that has given her the reputation as the go-to gal. A shining example was her involvement with the Florida Dental Association's Mission of Mercy event. They actually go out and they provide free dental services to people who are uninsured, to folks who otherwise wouldn't have that opportunity. So we started brainstorming around, well, gosh, if we could get financial literacy to this demographic tied into treasure, but also get some volunteer opportunities for our associates, it just sounded like the perfect partnership. And what better way, as these, as these patients were waiting to be seen, to talk to them about checking accounts, to talk to them about a banking relationship, to talk to them about credit, to bring really kind of a holistic approach, not only to just, you know, what they were there for in terms of, you know, getting a tooth fixed or cleaning, but also really perhaps to impact them financially for the rest of their lives. It hit me how big this was the morning that I drove out to the fairgrounds and I met a team of Regions volunteers because we, we had about 10% of their entire volunteer base there and they had been there since five o'clock in the morning and they had smiles on their faces and tears in their eyes and said this was the single best thing they have ever done as a volunteer in their lives. In her own volunteer efforts, Cindy has discovered her affinity for teaching financial literacy to the youth in her community through the Junior Achievement Curriculum. One of her favorites is J.A. More Than Money, and that teaches them basically how to keep the check register. So as they spend money, it kind of shows them how to keep track of what they've spent, how to be a good consumer and watch out for fraud. So there's a lot of overlap between what the bank wants to show and what Junior Achievement wants to show. So that makes it really simple for both of us to meet our goals. However, Cindy wanted to set her goals higher and helped Regions forge a partnership with the Academy Prep Center for Education, a private nonprofit middle school serving low-income communities. Junior Achievement is fantastic, but you go in and one day and, and you leave and you might not ever see those kids again. But with Academy Prep, they have a special program and it's fifth grade through eighth. So we thought, okay, let's adopt our fifth graders and hope that 
it's successful and we can move with them through eighth grade until they go on to another school and maybe even then establish a relationship to keep tabs on them. So we adopted the fifth graders in both the Tampa campus and the St. Pete campus. We went every month the entire school year and each week or each month we learned they learned a little bit more and we did activities with them. We brought the big bike out. We had fun with them along with learning. I think sometimes the children that we teach they don't always have that stability. So the people kind of come in and go out of their lives. And knowing that we're coming every month, we're like they're a teacher, maybe not every day, but we're someone they can count on. They line up and they are ready when we get there. So it's just that feeling of these people are looking out for me and they're helping me and they're getting to make a connection. She's just a huge cheerleader for us, a huge advocate for our school. She got everybody excited about what we're doing and our results. and. They showed up in troves and they really are committed to helping our kids and our community. And it, that wouldn't have happened if not for Cindy. Whether it's about community, whether it's about marketing, whether it's about sales and, and data management, she tackles with a heart. And because she approaches and leads with her heart, she always gives you 100%. I really enjoy working with all the associates. I, and I've got friends that, I mean, people that help and wanna help. It's not just me. It's not just Christy. It's not just, you know, a branch. It's all of us kind of coming together. And there isn't really a part of the job that I don't like. I mean, even pulling reports once in a while, it's just, it's okay. The reward at the end is helping people be better so that we can all be better.